hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and once again thank you for tuning in and checking out my videos I've got another one for you today and it's going to be a review on a camera so the past few months I've been using the Altair Astro Hypercam 294C Pro Tech and as we've got Christmas coming up and IAS, I thought it was about time that I gave you guys a review and what I thought of the camera itself. Luna's here as usual, uh, causing chaos. So, yeah, without further ado, I'll uh, get into the review. Oh man, that was a bit poetic, but hey. <laughs> so, this is the Altair Hypercam. 294C Pro Tech camera. As usual, it comes in that lovely purple finish. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm in the former camp, I quite like it. And with the nice Altair font, sort of lasered etched on, I think. It's quite a big unit. Um, you know, it fills the hand. And I haven't got small hands, it's just quite a big camera. So, it is a one shot colour camera, it doesn't come in a mono flavour and it's 11.6 megapixels. It's got quite a large sensor, it's a micro four thirds format, which is kind of why I like it because it gives me a massive field of view. I could, with my um, 72 EDF, I could fit and a reducer, so it was massively undersampled, but I could pretty much fit the whole of um, the the Veil Nebula complex in and I'll put that image at the end of the video. So this is the ProTech version which has the tech cool in but it also comes in a pro version which is just simply fan cooled as well. If you can have if you can afford it I would recommend going for the tech version because it, it means you can actually create a dark library so for different gain values or different exposure values you can actually set the temperature to whatever you like and just shoot darks at your leisure I never run the camera um, lower than minus 10 degrees I, don't, I just don't find it necessary so you can get this direct from Altair or they have a number of dealers and it costs £1,025 in the UK. So, what do you get for that £1,025? Everything, so if you go on the Altair website and look at any of their Hypercam ProTech model cameras, you get a number of things. So you get you all you get the camera itself, a power supply, and you at least get a armoured case and spare desiccant cartridges. Now can you see this little thing here that says do not unscrew? That is where the desiccant cartridge goes but in, in normal use you should never ever need to use it but you do have it if, if needed. So a little bit about this camera sensor it is the Sony IMX294 which is basically why it has the 294 designation. This sensor comes in a lot of different cameras so you'll see the um, ASI 294 or the QHY 294. The sensor is exactly the same it's just the way the manufacturer implements it that makes the difference in different cameras. So IMX294 is a CMOS sensor. A lot of people are like, oh CMOS, it's not as good as CCD. Well, that might have been true in the past, but you'll see that people like OnSemi, um, Sony themselves are have ceased making CCD technology. And I actually work in the medical sector. And a lot of the new x-ray machines that are coming through these days also have CMOS sensors. So a flip has occurred and 
it, it's just one of those things. Astro cameras in the very near future will be all CMOS rather than CCD. And then after that, who knows what technology is next. So the IMX294 is a 14-bit sensor and it's a micro four thirds. I already spoke about the massive field of view that it gives me on the Altair Astro 72 EDF. So a bit about that 14 bit sensor depth. I previously used an Altair Astro 183C camera which was 12 bit. On paper the 183C is the more sensitive of the two cameras but because of that extra bit depth I've actually found it easier to get do shorter exposures with the 294 instead. I usually run the camera at unity gain which for the Altair version is around 400 or in my case 391 to be exact and I, I got that value from running a sharp cap centre analysis which is something I recommend that everybody should do when they have a new camera whether it's an Altair, an ASI or a QHY it's always a good idea to run the sensor analysis a little bit about the sensor technology itself it's a backside illuminated sensor and it also carries the Starvis and Exmor R rating, which are Sony ratings, but it means they're kind of suited to low level light applications. So, which is astrophotography all over because we're collecting minute levels of photons from millions of light years away. I would I would say that classes as low level light. A little bit probably low level, more low level light than you know your security camera um, that you have on your house or whatever. This sensor itself has very little, if any, amp glow that I've seen, but it does have the characteristic starbursts. So I will show you these images now. Those were the starbursts that are visible on this sensor. Um, Obviously one was a short exposure image and one was a longer exposure image. Basically the longer the exposure the bigger and more obvious the starburst is going to be. Easily solved with darks and I use Astro Pixel Processor to great effect to remove this starburst and if you check out my video how to remove CMOS sensor glow it will show you how to remove it as well. So this camera also has something called HCG mode, which I think stands for High Conversion Gain. Now, some camera, cameras from different manufacturers enable this mode automatically. Um, with the software I've been using, so I use Astro Photography Tool, you, ha you can enable it manually. Now, I tend to use this camera at Unity Gain, so I don't have the HCG mode enabled, but if I was to use it at a higher gain, I could enable HCG mode and what that would allow me to do is to keep the read noise low but preserve the high dynamic range. It's a win-win. So that HCG mode is there if you want to use it. Personally I haven't used it, I know others have to great effect but it, it just adds to the versatility of this camera. So you might think why did Stacey swap from the Altair 183C when she only has a really short focal length scope. But it's not true, I actually have a longer focal length scope as well. And if you'll bear one moment, this is my longer focal length scope. <laughs> so it's actually the Altair Astro Starwave Ascent 102ED but the F7 version. And I was hoping to get this ready to shoot deep sky. So the focal length of this telescope is 714mm and Altair themselves state that the 294 is great for focal lengths of 750mm and above. So I'm practically there anyway and I wanted an all-rounder camera which would be able to deal with my longer focal length scope 
and also my short focal length scope. As previously mentioned, when using it with the shorter focal length, my images are undersampled, but they look great to me, which, you know, I'm quite happy with them. And there's also something you can use when debayering your images called Bayer Drizzle, which gives less artifacts when debayering undersampled images. And that's always worth looking at. And I've, I'm going to do that in Astro Pixel Processor. But for the main reason for moving to the 294 was that extra bit depth and the fact that I want to use this monster sooner rather than later. So, all in all, I really like the Altair Astro 294C ProTech camera. I love the fact that it has tech cooling and I like the fact that it's basically an all-rounder scope, uh, all-rounder camera and it, it suits my 102 down to the ground and it also works great with my 72 ED as well. It's always worth thinking about though, if you're planning on simply having short focal length scopes forever, then the 183 is great. It has that really high pixel density and small pixels. Whereas this one has larger pixels and less pixel density. But unless you're pixel peeping, I'm not sure you'd even notice. And I would heartily recommend either the 294 camera or if your setup you know suits it the 183 they are both fantastic cameras so I'll leave you some with some images that I've captured with the 294C and let me know in the comments if you've got one of these cameras what you think of it or if you're thinking of buying it I'll help as much as I can and all being well I'll be at IAS on Friday so if you see me around come and say hello oh, I'm quite friendly and um, thanks for watching